Welcome to another episode of Empowered, Hawaii's Clean Energy Future. We've talked a lot about using solar, wind, and other forms of clean energy to power our grid, which is necessary for our 100% renewable future. But the cleanest and cheapest electricity out there is the electricity that you don't use. Tonight, we'll see how making simple, energy-efficient choices benefits not only the environment, but our finances as well. First, let's learn the basics of energy conservation and some of the top tips that you can implement in your own home. Energy efficiency plays an important role for us to get to the 100% clean energy future. We have to reduce what we're using and be more efficient to be able to really reduce how much power that's going to need to be generated to make that 100% goal. Aloha, I'm Brian Kealoha, Executive Director at Hawaii Energy. Hawaii Energy provides incentives and technical assistance to help our families and businesses make those smart energy choices. We have a number of programs that can help you and your home reduce your energy usage as well as save money. And we also have a number of programs everywhere from small businesses, nonprofits, profits to large businesses to be able to reduce their energy consumption as well. So here are some of the top energy saving tips for you to consider. The first would be looking at that extra fridge that you might have out in the garage that's storing extra beer or the food from Costco. Typically those refrigerators are really inefficient. You put it out there because you bought a new fridge. Hoi Energy provides a $75 rebate to get rid of that old working refrigerator and we'll come and haul away the refrigerator for you. The second energy tip is to install LED lighting throughout your home. Typically, a lot of folks will have either incandescent or compact fluorescent. LED lighting lasts for over 20 years and it's very efficient. It provides better lighting than what you have probably in your home if you have these older bulbs. So we really encourage folks to do that. The third tip is water heating. Typically, a family will use a lot of hot water either by washing dishes, washing clothes, taking showers. And so by installing a solar water heater, you typically can reduce anywhere between 25 to 40% of your overall bill because you're able to heat that water through the sun. So we provide great incentives to move to solar water heating, but we also have heat pump water heating rebates for those that can't install solar water heating on their homes. If people wanna find out more energy saving tips, they can check out efficiencyunlock.org or for a full list of all of our programs, they can visit our website at hawaiienergy.com. They're simple and easy things that everyone can do. You don't have to own your home to be more energy efficient. Everyone has access to this. And that's why it's really exciting when we see the difference energy efficiency can make in people's lives, when they're able to reduce their energy bills. And really, it's hard to survive here in Hawaii. And every little bit helps, and energy efficiency plays a big role around affordability, as much as it is important for our 100% clean energy future. Pono Home is a, a green handyman service that's also a bit of a consultant for people to help um, cut their utility bills and green their home. Uh, so we provide audits, uh, upgrades, and maintenance primarily. And you know, to date, since we started the company in 2014, we've served over 15,000 homes across all the islands except Niihau at this point, and we have 100% customer satisfaction. So what we're looking for when we come into a home to do our audits is um, we like to think of ourselves a little bit like Alex Brody's for your home. You know, we do this 100 plus point checklist and uh, we check sinks for leaks and we check toilets for leaks and then we check electronics and we check lighting and we check plumbing and um, we'll do, uh, we'll take the year make and model on most of the appliances and then do an analysis and prioritize um, uh, how those things look in terms of your best bang for your buck. Uh, so we've seen over seven years a consistent 10 to 15 percent drop in people's utility bills um, and we, we promote this with no sacrifice. So the idea that these are upgrades and they're awesome uh, and not anything that you have to sacrifice for. So we did a very interesting case study of uh, doing energy efficiency before solar and trying to calculate um, what that actually meant. So uh, with my own personal home, when I moved in three years ago, our, the historic electric bill was about 550 a month. And so I went around, did all the lighting in the house, we put up some clotheslines, um, we did uh, some water fixtures, some electronic type stuff, a lot of little things. 
and then took a look at the appliances. And so two of the refrigerators were energy hogs. So bought two fridges, uh, did a bunch of small upgrades, and ended up saving about $200 a month by spending $1,500. So basically the energy efficiency saved, uh, paid for itself in about eight months. And what happened was I got the solar bill to go from $40,000 pre-efficiency work to $16,000 post-efficiency work. So effectively, by cutting our bill by a couple hundred dollars, I was able to remove a couple of panels and a battery and some other equipment, and the total cost of the solar came down $24,000 after I invested $1,500 in the energy efficiency. It feels really good to be contributing to 100% clean energy for Hawaii. We spend $5 billion a year on imported fossil fuels, um, oil and coal, and that money can be recirculating here in our economy and creating local jobs, uh, keeping local restaurants in business, local businesses. Um, and that's important for our future here in Hawaii. And so that's ultimately what I, I think that we're trying to do is reduce the amount of money that we spend out of state on, on fossil fuels. Hello, I'm Shana from Hawaii Energy here with the Little Pop Quiz. What historic landmark was the first site in Hawaii to ever use electric lights, getting them installed even before the White House? We'll be right back with the answer after the break. Welcome back. The answer is Iolani Palace in downtown Honolulu. King Kalakaua met Thomas Edison in the late 1800s, and as they say, the rest is history, including their recent upgrade to energy-efficient LEDs. Stick around for more pop quiz later in the show. Now that we've explored some of the energy efficient options available at home, what about bigger buildings and businesses? The same energy saving tips can be applied on a larger scale to make an even greater difference. Companies, community centers, even historical landmarks across the state are implementing energy efficiency measures and are seeing substantial results. Take a look at how one of Hawaii's most iconic buildings is contributing to a brighter future for our islands. When you look back at the history of electricity at Iolani Palace, it all comes down to one person, and that would be King Kalakaua. He loved technology, and when he went on his round-the-world tour in 1881, when he was in Paris, he went to the International Exposition on Electricity and was just enamored by all of it. That led to a meeting with Thomas Edison in New York, part of it in his laboratory office, just learning all about um, electricity and about just all kinds of technology. and so. He, that's where he really planted that seed that he wanted to bring it to Hawaii. And he always looked for innovation and those great ideas that would help bring the Hawaiian kingdom to an even higher level on the world stage. And so electricity was something that really caught his eye. So about five years later, they were able to illuminate the grounds of Iolani Palace for his 50th birthday. And then that following June, they were able to light up the palace. And so that was really uh, the big start of electricity in Hawaii. Over the years, our electricity bill has really been the key factor in the Friends of Iolani Palace, looking at ways to save on energy and cut the bill. We did some tweaks to the HVAC system, and then came the idea of LED retrofits. We worked with Hawaii Energy and with Luminol Lighting. It took years of design and research to come up with something, and they did. We finally came up with uh, the LED lighting that we see in the palace now, and the LED lighting really mimics what it looked like during the years here of the palace when Kalakaua was here. So the lighting is really accurate. If you actually look at the lights, there are filament in these bulbs, so it almost looks like the bulbs that were used at that time. After all the efficiency measures we did, and you factor in the price of oil, our electricity bill went down from an average of $30,000 a month to $15,000 a month. And we're hoping that we see it go down even further as new technology comes on board. I think it's really important for Iolani Palace to kind of pave the way in energy efficiency for a couple of reasons, as you know, we're gonna be 140 years old next year. 
So we're an old building. There's old homes and other old buildings, and I think this really will stand as a great example of what can be done. You know, we need to malama honua. We need to take care of this earth and protect our resources. So I think it's really important. And for the Friends of Iolani Palace to take that step forward and do that, I think really serves as an example to the world that once again, Iolani Palace is on that world stage, just as Kalakaua wanted for the Hawaiian Kingdom. YWC Oahu is the largest and oldest women's membership association in the state of Hawaii. We started in 1900. Our mission is eliminating racism and empowering women. And we move forward with our mission through direct services and advocacy. If a woman wants to start a business, we can help them turn that dream into reality. If a woman wants to escape an abusive relationship, and wants to stand on her feet, we can become their resources. We can be their support. And when we do our job right, we can see those changes in them. Julia Morgan, the architect of this building, when she designed this building almost like 100 years ago, she really embraced the beauty and nature of Hawaii. So we have been mindful about how we coexist in this environment. So unfortunately for this building, because we are surrounded by tall buildings, it didn't allow us to install solar. But we still wanted to pursue something, something we can do to become energy efficient. The Reefficiency Program through the Blue Planet Foundation allowed us to install LED light bulbs. That money raised through crowdfunding allowed us to replace more than 100 light bulbs. That really resulted in the net savings of roughly $6,000 a year. And then that money allowed us initially to pay back the money we owe to this project, but then later, you know, put that money back into those critical services we are providing to our community. The reason people are so attracted to Hawaii in addition to the warmth and aloha spirit of the people here is the beautiful nature. So however way we can help this planet and Hawaii and the environment, I think we should take responsibility. We cannot hope somebody one day will change everything. It takes every one of us. So uh, we at YWCA, we're the stewards of three beautiful properties and we are constantly thinking of ways to make things better, but also being mindful of the environment we're in. Shana from Hawaii Energy here, back with another pop quiz. How much energy does an LED bulb use compared to an incandescent bulb of the same type? Is it A, 20% less energy, B, 50% less energy, or C, 90% less energy? We'll be right back with the answer after the break. Welcome back. The answer is C, a whopping 90% less energy. In fact, most of the energy used by old bulbs like these just comes out as heat. And I think we could use a lot less hot air, don't you? Stick around for more pop quiz later in the show. With the climate crisis more prevalent than ever before, residents, businesses, and educational institutions are looking for opportunities to do their part. With so many options available, we are seeing an increase in the number of buildings adopting energy efficiency measures. The pause created by the COVID-19 pandemic allowed some properties to make these necessary energy saving updates. Here's how one hotel used the opportunity to bring energy conservation into the tourism industry. Aloha, my name is Kelly Sanders. I'm the Senior Vice President of Operations for Highgate Hotels here in Hawaii, and Alohilani is one of our flagship hotels here in the islands. 
Energy and conservation for Alohilani and, and really for Hawaii is critical. I mean, we are an island and we need to do everything we can to uh, be as self-sustaining and self-sufficient as possible. And the only way to do that is really to look at what you can do to generate electricity or power uh, or reduce your overall consumption. You know, the pandemic uh, was challenging for everyone. We closed the doors of Alohilani on the 31st of March, 2020. And uh, during the closure, it gave us an opportunity to really rethink what we were doing, how we were doing things, and what we could do better. And uh, becoming more energy efficient and really investing back into our building and our infrastructure to reduce our consumption of energy was really one of the key measures that we took away uh, during that very difficult time. So we've implemented eight or nine major projects across the entire resort. Everything from entire LED lighting throughout every light fixture in the hotel. We replaced all of the thermostats in all of the guest rooms with smart thermostats. So it allows us to keep the uh, air off until a guest checks in. And so, so many different projects that we've worked through, but we've seen probably a 20 to 25% reduction on our overall utility bill and our overall consumption. So our partnership with Hawaii Energy and their rebate program was a critical step in us being able to actually afford the capital needed to do all of these projects. And we, we wouldn't be where we are today without their great support. Alohilani has many pillars. One of the pillars is community and sustainability. We have partnered with Hawaii Legacy Hardwoods. Um, we have two forests. During our partnership, we've committed to planting 100,000 trees, and we will be the very first carbon neutral hotel in the state of Hawaii. I would say every single business owner needs to have sustainability as part of what they're doing. There are great opportunities to take advantage to make your uh, business or your operations much more efficient. And it's our job to continue to make sure that Hawaii is as beautiful today as it will be 50 years from now. And the only way to do that is to think about the things that we can do to, that, that are impacting our, our island and our way of life today and make sure that we don't impact them in a negative way for the future and, and the future generations to come. The community colleges is the focal point of workforce development. So it's important for us to be a leader in looking at programs that enhance our environment. And so we wanted to be a leader in the energy field as well. Aloha, I'm Mike Unibasami. Associate Vice President for Administrative Affairs for the University of Hawaii Community Colleges. Net Zero, or the concept of Net Zero, is where we produce as much energy on our campuses as we use. Leeward was the first community college to become close to Net Zero. The community colleges started looking at energy efficiency back in 2010. And basically the strategy was to look at how we could reduce energy consumption before we looked at renewables. In phase one, we went very heavily into uh, HVAC systems, upgrades, lighting, waste management. We did a lot of other kinds of energy efficiency type measures. All of our efforts in energy efficiencies have resulted in a reduction of 35% in kilowatt hour usage. In phase two, after we did much of what we could do for energy conservation, energy efficiency, we entered into another contract or an extension of the first and went very heavily into renewables. Here at Leeward Community College, we have over 3,500 PV modules that produce over 1.6 megawatts of power for the campus along with battery storage. Many of our panels are carports, so students, faculty, and staff really enjoy that because they get shaded parking. And while we provide shaded parking, it's also producing energy to offset fossil fuels that the college would use. In addition to what we're doing on the OAL campuses and at Maui, Kauai Community College, we just uh, installed PV panels there 
We're doing some projects with federal monies at Molokai, at our Molokai Education Center as well. We're proud in, in terms of what the community colleges have done in providing leadership in this area at the university. And we continue to look for uh, other ways in which we can contribute to making our environment for it, our entire community and the state better. Shana from Hawaii Energy here, back with another pop quiz. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which certifies household energy efficient products with the Energy Star seal, which of these product categories does not have an Energy Star model available? Is it A, microwaves, B, cable boxes, or C, laptop computers? We'll be right back with the answer after the break. Welcome back. The answer is A, microwaves. And hey, while the jury's still out there, there's more than 60 other product categories that have met the rigorous Energy Star standards. So chances are, there's an energy saving model of your favorite household device out there. All you have to remember to do is look for the Energy Star seal and rest easy knowing that you're saving energy and money just by buying. Thanks for watching. Efficiency is the cheapest and easiest form of clean energy. By choosing energy efficient options wherever we plug in, we'll need fewer fossil fuels on the path to 100% clean energy. We encourage you to get involved by taking the efficiency tips shared in this episode and implementing them in your home, your workplace, and even your school. Until next time, aloha. We hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Empowered. Blue Planet Foundation is committed to accelerating Hawaii's clean energy future through bold policy, creative storytelling, and impactful community programs. Our work is largely supported through the generosity of individuals. To join the journey to Hawaii's 100% renewable energy future, we invite you to make a financial donation at blueplanetfoundation.org. Mahalo.